my first single, Could It Be, uh, is uh, the story of two friends who, you know, they've known each other for a while, but they go out one night with other friends. Maybe they have a few drinks, they cross a line, they wake up and realize that there might be more to it than just friendship. It might be love. The song was written uh, not long after I met Ryan Tyndall, who wrote a lot of the songs with me on Rubber Band and also co-produced my album Rubber Band with me. When we first met Ryan and I were both kind of uh, honestly down in the dumps. We, we I just uh, left a, a particular situation and he had just left another particular situation, you know, both professionally and personally. I swear we wrote the song out of sheer desperation for something hopeful, you know. Uh, and we had the first verse and the part leading up that talks about who knows we might go down in flames and again I might just change your name. Uh, but we didn't have a title and we didn't have a chorus and we brought it in to a writing session with Marty Dotson and after a few more hours uh, we had Could It Be. I made the record with my best friends. The engineer is a friend from college. I went to college in Boston at Berkeley and that's where he and I met. I got pushed uh, out of my comfort zone and, and challenged uh, really hard as a songwriter and I'm grateful for that. A lot of the songs we recorded two or three different times before we sort of got them right. I try to have songs on there. Uh, there's a song called Young to See that's sort of about, you know, taking those great leaps of faith in life when you're young and maybe you're not old and wise yet, but it's the things that you do that eventually get you around to being older and wiser and sort of in the spirit of staying young at heart no matter what age you are. Songs like Mississippi in July that are very personal for me uh, having grown up in Grenada, Mississippi. The songs like How I Learned to Pray, it's another sort of personal one. Uh, there's one called Tools of the Trade that was so much fun to record because I got to record with two of my all-time heroes, Vince Gill and Marty Stewart. Just all, all sorts of songs. The title track, Rubber Band, was a, a, a whole lot of fun to record and features an instrument invented in Nashville called the shitar, a uh, percussion instrument. Also an old 60s Martin that I'm playing plugged in through an amp with distortion. So I very, I, I very literally stretched my sound uh, as much as I could on, on my debut record. I believe that once my record goes out there, uh, it belongs to the fans and, and not to me anymore. Those songs do, you know. Their their job is to hopefully find a place in people's hearts that gets them through a rough spot in life, or that they can psych themselves up to make some sort of a crazy decision, you know, that they've been thinking about for a long time. The end goal of songs is is to to find their way into other people's stories. Working with Vince Gill and Marty Stewart. I swear it felt like a daydream that I had many times growing up. You know, those two guys uh, are heroes of mine and I've, I've grown up studying their music and learning their music and uh, emulating them a great deal. And they could not have been more gracious in the studio. They both took time uh, singing and playing their parts and took time to laugh and tell stories and give me some encouragement from uh, just relating their experiences early in their career. You know, there's a line in the song Tools of the Trade that mentions traveling on the same road my heroes paved. That's exactly what I am getting to do and getting to sit down with Vince and sit down with Marty and hear them talk about playing the same kind of shows that I'm playing now and the fact that they, you know, logged in those same miles. It meant the world to me. I'm excited for folks to hear it because you can certainly hear the excitement in my voice and playing, uh, getting to make music with my heroes. I sure did and I can show that tattoo here. Here we go. So here's my arm that says follow your heart and it's copied from an autograph that Marty Stewart jotted down in a photography book that he put out a few years ago. My parents got the book for me and got it autographed for a Christmas present and they had asked Marty to write To Charlie Follow Your Dreams because that's what they told me growing up, you know, and they've been real supportive of my choice to play music. But Marty being Marty, he kind of looked at him and didn't say anything and he wrote Follow Your Heart and uh, I took that to heart and uh, so I got it tattooed here on my arm for two reasons. One is when I look down at my hands when I'm playing music, it reminds me to quit thinking too much about it and just play from the heart. But I also am really a big fan of Instagram and social media and I have a whole series called Follow Your Heart where I take pictures of my tattoo here in New York City at Times Square or at the Grand Canyon or uh, the Las Vegas Strip and all these different places that my music is taking me to every day. For me the whole process of rubber band from what I learned and, and, and experimented with in the studio on a track-by-track -track basis to lyrically finding my voice to actually vocally finding my voice. You know, the, my first single, Could It Be, I sang that three years ago and I was still, uh, I still had a lot of live performance ahead of me between then and now and it's changed the way I sing. And 
it's my big first statement to country music. It's what I want. It's where I want to take the genre in my own small way, you know. Uh, one cool thing I love about being a new artist right now is that I feel like I'm a part of a class. There are a lot of great new artists who are new to the world but maybe aren't new uh, as far as I know them to be. Casey Musgraves, I remember her being in Nashville years ago and I'm so proud to see her have the success she has. I feel like I belong to a class with her, with, the, with a couple guys called the Brothers Osborne that I used to live across the street from and I was in a band with one of the guys. And there are just so many great new artists coming up right now that uh, I think hopefully Rubber Band is just one of the bricks in the, in the wall that we're building together.